that do this, that we called her yesterday. She got some of the feeling of her own. And they will focus on a simpler way of remembering the essence of Mother Teresa. Concentration to Mary. We don't want on more, <coughs> on more physically. We don't want to meet Mary. What does this mean? The main clause comes from the offertory verse for the mass of the kiss of the sacred heart. My heart that is felt as the cross, misery, and I look for one man who will be together with me. And there was none, and I sought one that will console me, that I found none. Mother Teresa's response, be the one, be the one, to console Jesus by supplicating his burning thirst for love. She writes, Tell Jesus I will be the one. I will comfort and courage and love him. Be with Jesus. He prayed and prayed and then he went to look for consolation. But there was none. Always write that sentence. I look forward to comfort me, but I found no one. Then I write to the one, so now you be better one. But try to be the one to share with him, to comfort him, to console him. So let us ask Our Lady to help us understand that the last sentence is key. We need Our Lady to help us understand the thirst of Jesus. She's the one who consoles him best. She's the boss of the consoler. The Holy Spirit, through Mary, the Holy Spirit can help us understand that is meant to be a consoler of the heart of Jesus. <clears throat> Let us try in a first special way to come in close, close as the human heart and come to the uh, heart of Jesus. And try to understand as much possible Jesus terrible pains caused to him our sin and his thirst for our love. Thank God Our Lady was there to understand fully the thirst of Jesus for love. She, <clears throat> she must have straight away said, I share it your thirst with my love and the suffering of my heart. Yes, we can thank God for Our Lady. She teaches us to be the one with her consoling Jesus. On Calvary, she helps us to pray away since Jesus is studying your thirst, but what exactly does this mean? <clears throat> what does it mean to saturate the thirst of Jesus? To think to console Jesus is head of his mystical body and to console him the members of his body. How do we consult Jesus, the head of the body, by being apostles of joy <laughs> means to console the sacred heart of Jesus through joy. Every especially Mary. <clears throat> joy, our Mother Teresa continues. They please ask our lady to be give me her heart. Mary the one who despite her own prior of darkness, praises and thanks God in all things. <clears throat> My loves him and consoles him with her love. It's simple and beautiful. Mother surprises to be her trademark prayer to total surrender to God. Loving trust and perfect sure for me. Basically, it is to be as a child with a memory of my own Jesus and loving him from the door of the cross. Now, we will be consoling Jesus with the members of his body by recognizing the thirst. Everyone thirst rich and poor. Young and old, beautiful and unbeliever. Everyone has a restless heart for Jesus. In heart for God. The man is surrendered to her to console Jesus and others to respond to their suffering, especially to the women. 
most universal suffering that birth will allow you. Please choose that fun to the first mother and to the friends. But with a gentle smile and say, I delight that you insist, and I do understand the pain of the thirst. Mother explained to me, the greatest evil is the lack of love, and charity the terrible indifference towards one's neighbor. <clears throat> People today are hungry for love, for understanding <coughs> of this much greater and need. The only answer to loneliness and great poverty by accepting our own thirst with man's help, not running away from it. Mother Teresa could understand the thirst of others. Both Jesus on the cross and Jesus her neighbor and the king to pastor of her and joy and hope in the area of charity. Today's prayer. In the name of the Father, and the
are in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. In order to offer this Mass in a worthy manner, let's acknowledge your sins and pray. I confess to all my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed to sin, and not lost in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who cause the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated in this Mass we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic and for the healing of the world. And we also pray for the faithful departed, Dante Malvar, Paulino Sotelo, and for a healing of um, Antonio Manuel and Zach Tyler, that the Lord may bless them with the gift of healing. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been assured, reassured about you, brothers and sisters. In the very distress and afflictions through your faith. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you? For all the joy we feel on your account before our God. Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus, direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase, and abound in love for one another and for all. Just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father. At the coming of our Lord Jesus, with all his holy ones, amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it has passed, or as a watch of the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will seek for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will seek for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. 
Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our lambs. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will see you for joy. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day of your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of the night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is faithful and prudent servant, whom the master has put in charge of his household, to distribute them the food to the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if the wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards. The servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's uh, reflection readings remind us about the beautiful gift of um, God's love and the providence that each of us has received. The first reading from the letter to Thessalonians, St. Paul himself highlights how grateful <coughs> How thankful he is for the beautiful gift of faith, especially the community. He's expressing his gratitude for all that they do in the name of Jesus. That they are reaching out to the needy. They are helping out people who are uh, less privileged than them. And St. Paul was deeply touched and moved by their generosity and their love. And he praised God for that. So when I see this is happening, I'm being strengthened and by moon. So that's what St. Paul's experience with the people of Thessalonica, the community, such a, a strong faith community, uh, but they are also very much involved in caring for the sick and the needy, the hungry. And so that leads us to the gospel reading, where Jesus is talking about stay awake, be alert. Stay awake and be alert and be prepared because the resources that you have might be gone, but make use of these resources to inherit treasure in heaven. People of Thessalonians have learned it a long time ago and they did it, what they're supposed to do, what it means to be a follower of Christ, what it means to be a faithful disciple of uh, Jesus. But unfortunately, we haven't learned it. We haven't completely learned it. We think money is everything, possession is everything, power is everything. And as long as I have food over my table, as long as I have roof over my head, I'm totally fine. As long as I have, you know, reserved my bank and, and that's all I need. But that's not all about it. <clears throat> that's not all about it. 
know, when, when somebody sent me a message here a few months ago, that God blesses you with a lot of money, don't open many, many saving accounts. Open many giving accounts. Share with people. Think about the people as people. We think about the abundance, and then we think about people who are not, you know, uh, who, who they have not. That's the gift of you know, our Christianity. That's the gift of faith. That's the life that we live in Christ. And so today, let's be away with the resources that God has given to us so that we might be able to touch and move the people in the name of Jesus. And Job is a great example. God gave me, God gave out. God has taken it. And I'm an instrument of God. Whatever God has given to us is not only for us, for us to be generous. And so let us pray for the grace of generosity. Please stand. Loving God, we bless and thank you for this day, for the grace of mercy that is poured out upon us, your children. Bless the universal church, Pope Francis, and all people of God, that we may proclaim your love and mercy. We pray for you. God of mercy and God of abundance, we pray for a feeling of the world, especially uh, countries that are deeply affected by COVID-19 <coughs> and uh, countries that are affected by natural calamities like uh, Haiti, earthquake and uh, rain. We also pray deeply about the people of Afghanistan, especially women and children. Um, may the Lord God bless that every single uh, troops from America and all of the countries helping uh, these poor people in need. We pray for them. The Lord hear our prayers. What else do we pray this morning? Pray for safe travels for my sister, my mother, and Anna, and all those traveling today that they will reach their destination safely. For this, I pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayers. For Father, and the ministry team, the church continue to share the message to make a difference in our lives, including music, and thank you for everything, Lord. Bless your family and friends. And praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. I pray for all the sick, and especially for my uncle who's in the hospital, that you may heal him and uh, for me to be able to return to <coughs> And for um, all of those that are recuperating at home at the hospital with COVID, and for those that are not vaccinated, Hear the calling and help out to travel with you to the home of Pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayers. All the families that are suffering with this virus, <coughs> especially my mom's uh, my father in law's family, who all the elderly that didn't have very much to have to get out of the car, but here. Pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread, we offer you a gift of the earth. Work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you through the wine, work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual. Blessed be God, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty One. May the Lord accept the sacrifices in your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our David and the Lord of the Holy Church. O Lord, who gain of yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gift of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our <coughs> Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Power of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with all the angels and all the angels, with thrones and dominion, with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are thanked. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Bless your children with the gift of healing. Especially Antonio Manuel and Zach Tyler and Cheryl Patman. Remember your servant, whom you have called from this world to yourself, especially Paulino Sotelo, Dante Mawar. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in the resurrection. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostle St. Bernadette of Petronas, St. Matrice of Calcutta, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us all for each other a sign of peace. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the love of Christ to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. Thanks be to God. And Michael, the Archangel, defend us in sorrow. May our protection against the wickedness of the soul of the devil. May God be with you and help you pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all his evil spirits, who let out of the world the secret of souls. Amen. Today is the birthday of the Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And a few days ago, somebody had a birthday, and her name is Bertha. <laughs> Happy birthday. I can tell she's getting younger and younger. 